I want to read um, the title poem of my first collection. It was called Eating Baby Jesus. Um, and it was a book which sometimes ended up in the cookery section of bookshops or the religious section. And I would go in and pull them out of the bookshop and out the, the shelf and put them in the right section. Um, I usually find that poems come really unexpectedly. And um, my new and selected poems came out two years ago. And I went back and looked at this poem again and I could remember exactly where it happened and when it happened and how unexpected it was when it came to me. Um, I was a young teacher, a primary school teacher, and I was teaching out in Neilstown and Clondalkin. And I was doing this wonderful thing called yard duty. And it was a freezing cold uh, winter's morning. And suddenly somebody flung a brick over the railing and it hit a junior infant in the head. Um, it was quite dramatic out there. And then when I went into my classroom, the priest was standing there and he wanted to know who had stolen the chalice um, from the church. And of course, I was teaching fifth class boys, so nobody put up their hands. And then when the priest had gone, this little boy finally at the back of the class said, oh, well, I stole the chalice teacher. And I said, well, why did you do that? And he said, because I wanted to eat all the baby Jesuses. So um, that day going home on the number 50, 50 A bus um, or whatever it was, I suddenly got the whole poem came to me and I scribbled it down on the back of an envelope. And of course, the title came Eating Baby Jesus. On a Monday, Mitch, for something to do, gummo crunched alpen with Eucharist. A 10-year-old's breakfast of roughage and baby Jesus creamed in a stolen chalice. No stained glass here, no well-kept shrine, a graffitied church in the housing estate. On the priest's home top, Housekeepers screeching in Gummo's head like last night's lifted cars. He is a young roof protester, a prisoner raining down piss on the prison yard. He can climb the school railing later, tall iron tree with rust spikes, and there, lodged in its roots on the playground side, a brick. He wants to send concrete ripples far across window sea of classroom heads bobbing on cam. A child's face splinters within and crayon blood figures out sudden red on a sum copy page. For this, I could dangle Gummo, roping him upside down like kittens they gut live on this wasteland's torture branch, but I know he is fast away, his hair damp as council walls, his pulse racing a ghetto beat. He will run through row upon row of boxed grey, hope always dim for him as headlights in winter smog from the coal-burning tombs of babies named after soap stars and a visiting pope. At the time when I wrote that poem, uh, Pope John Paul had visited Ireland 10 years previously. So if you called out that name, everybody would put up their hands practically.